This tutorial is for creating new diagrams in the playbook. We have three ways to do this. We're going to select the button in the middle of the screen here to create a new diagram. Alternatively, in the top toolbar on the left, left click and you can create new things here. Or you can go into your existing folders. Here you're going to see all of the content that you've created previously. And on the right hand side, you can click uh, create new right there. I like to use the button in the middle, select that, give your diagram a name. Once you click OK, you're going to see a blank court in the window. You can change this in the image library at the top. So we have a bunch of different options here on the left for different dimensions, half court and full court. We even have customizable courts here where you could select a team for their colors and then change this around if you really wanted to. Um, but I'm going to stick with the hardwood court select that and now I'm going to start drawing my diagram. So we have paths and signs and symbols on the left. Select with the left click, left click to enter into the diagram. Now I'm doing positions and if I have this box in the top right hand corner of this section checked, it means that every time I click on the diagram, I will be entering the next number in the list as it's seen here on the left. I actually don't want to do that. So if, I, if I've made a mistake and I want to fix it, keyboard shortcut E selects the eraser, left click on anything that you want to erase. All right. You could also do this up here with the pencil, uh, left click and undo. All right. So now I'm going to finish this one off, left click to add and left click to enter onto the diagram, get my players in position, right click to exit out of input mode. If I want to move any of these pieces, left click and hold and I can drag these around to the right spots. Okay, now this what I've created might be a general setup that I use a number of different times. So what I can do is right click in the diagram here and save content preset. Choose one of the slots, double click and give it a name. Okay, so now this is saved that I'm going to exit this diagram and start a new one. Maybe this is going to be my second motion offense. And once I click OK here, right click in the window, load content preset and select number one. And now I have this general setup here. OK, now we're going to add paths. So in the top left hand corner here, I can select with the left click, left click to begin uh, where I want to start. Uh, let go of the mouse. Wherever you go here, the cursor is going to follow right click or double click to finish. We also have keyboard shortcuts hovering over here. We'll show you what those are. So just in the window, I select R, left click where I want to start. I can left click this one again. It's going to give me a curved line, right click or double click to finish. All right, we go to the next frame. This button here is a continuation. So now the ball and the player have moved as I've indicated here on the left, and I will continue with this one. Now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and add my last frame. So we have a couple of other types of path here to use. Screen. All right. So we have a good little set of diagrams here. Now we also have some accessories uh, and things that you could use in your diagrams. Um, we have a library of these in the sign library. So left click up here. Everything that is ticked is already loaded on the left hand side for you to see. Um, there are many different options. And if you want to select something, right click, choose available. And if you want to remove something, right click and just Click available to untick it. And now the ones that you've selected will be available. We have different ones like players here with the arms. We can go in. Um, these ones are customizable with the settings. Uh, also, paths uh, and symbols are all customizable in settings, either when you've selected them from the toolbar here, or if you choose them on the diagram, you can change the size and shape of some of these things after you've put them into the diagram. So everything is customizable either before you begin to add them 
or after you've added. Um, the next thing to show you would be the signs. So click on this T, you can add a sign directly onto one of these diagrams or you can switch down here to text sign. So switching that means you write your message down in the bottom, come over to the window, left click to enter it. Again, you can adjust the size of this thing and also the color. If I select it and hold down on the blue dot, I can rotate it as well if need be. If you want to add a description, simply left click below your diagram and type in what you want to say. And now this one is ready. So I can left click on the print symbol to print this. Next to that is a save as PDF button. So either I can save this one as its PDF on its own or save collection, which means I can save several of these uh, into the same document. Alternatively, you can insert these into drills, exercises or documents one frame at a time um, or into an analyzer presentation. You may want to use the zoom function at the top right hand corner to make these larger before you enter them into your drills or documents so that you get a higher resolution. Don't forget everything is saved once you've done your work and even if you're working halfway through. That's it. Good luck coaches. Thanks.